Hi uh, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all smashing it this lovely Sunday. So today, other than doing other people's cars, I decided to give my car a clean. So with that, I was just gonna go a quick review, quick product review on the uh, what we've been using, uh, how much it costs, that kind of thing. So with the snow foam, first of all, you need a pressure washer. So we purchased the Karcher K2 pressure washer. Now that cost 120 quid. Uh, I think you can get them for about 100 quid. Uh, I went for the 120 pound one because it came with the driveway cleaner. Um, as you can see, the drive needs to clean. So we'll be doing that, that at some point when the weather gets nicer. We've got the uh, Auto Glim Power Blast gun. That cost about 30 quid, uh, 30, 35 quid. Uh, and we've got the products as well. Now you've got the Polar Blast. This one, you basically just put it straight onto the car, like you've, uh, you can see in uh, the videos we've been doing. That just loosens the dirt. Then after that, use the Polar Wash. Now that also loosens the dirt, but it's supposed to get rid of the traffic film, that kind of stuff. So with that one, you do actually want to agitate it a bit uh, with a sponge, just to help clean everything. Then, after that, you've got the polar seal. Now that one's supposed to give a nice uh, beading coat on the car once you uh, you leather it off. So let's see how it fares. As you can see, the car's quite dirty. A lot of muck on it. So let's get down to it, give it a clean. So this is the first product we're gonna be using, the Polar Blast. about 10 minutes, let it soak in, then jet wash it off. So that's the Polar Blast done. Um, next we're on to the Polar Wash. Now as you can see it's quite satisfying using the uh, snow foam. It's quite quite nice covering it in a blanket, getting the jet wash on it. It's nice also using the jet wash because you can get into all the little areas and blast out anything like any bits of moss, any dirt on the inside of the wheel arches, that kind of stuff. The only thing I would say is obviously be careful if you've got anything like the wing mirror cameras or any external sensors, any external cameras on the car. You don't want to get too close with the jet wash um, just in case you damage it or you get any kind of water ingress but it is nice and it's looking a lot cleaner so let's get on with the polar wash and see how it all does. So with this one, it does say agitate with a sponge, so let's get on with it. So there we go, polar wash, applied, sponge, now let's jet wash it off. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the uh, third and final step using the polar seal. Now you don't need a lot of this one compared to the other two. Uh, it says 40 millilitres. Uh, now this one, you spray it on, get your stove foam on, wash it off as normal and then just buff it and it's supposed to leave a nice gloss finish. So I'm quite excited about this one just to see what it's going to look like in the end. Uh, so let's get on with it. First thing I'm noticing, it doesn't foam up the same. Ah, and also, you're not supposed to apply this to the windscreen. So with this one, as I said, I did say uh, during the video, but uh, you're not supposed to apply it directly to glass. I'm not sure why. I think they do say that with polishes, just in case you get the smearing on the wipers. But similar to the uh, polar, um, polar wash with this one, just apply it and then wash straight off. So you can turn the jet wash down a bit and wash it all off, then give it a buff. All in all, I'm quite impressed with that. You can instantly see the water starting to bead off the car. So let's get it dried, get it leathered, see what she looks like. Right, there we go, she's all clean. So today we've been using the Polar Collection Auto Glim 3 stage. So we'll just go through that again for you. First of all, you've got your Polar Blast. Now with that one, put it on using the snow foam gun, jet wash, leave it for 10 minutes, just agitate the dirt, jet wash it off. Then after that, use your Polar Wash. Now with that one, you don't need to leave it to stand, just literally spray it on using the snow foam gun. Agitate it all with a sponge like you normally would do washing a car, that gets rid of all your, your road grime, all that kind of stuff. Then, want, then jet wash it off, then finally finish off with the polar seal. All you do is spray that on, careful not to get your windows and stuff, and then just buff off as normal using the leather. Now it gives it a lovely finish, nice and shiny. To be honest, I'm really happy with that product. I'd highly recommend that Polar Seal. Uh, you don't need to use much in the, uh, the snow foam gun. Works really well, and to be honest, that's given it a lovely finish. I reckon it's just about the same as if you're gonna polish it. Now we'll have to see how long that lasts for, but it takes a short while to do it. It's quite satisfying using the foam, and it's given a lovely finish. So remember, check us out on our Facebook group, 330D Fam. It's a closed BMW group. Good bunch of people on there. Like and subscribe our videos and follow us for more content.